Okay, so we're just pushing through on the center here and just it's very simple operation x-raying through to the queen so we'll go with that simple process queen moves attacking the pawn bring the rook across prepare for bash m um, kingside castling so it's just a move order thing obviously they're going to want to get the um, bishop out There's plenty of things they can be doing. Going for the slow fianchetto, moving the queen to the other side of the board. That would be novel. Moving the queen up. As we said, attacking the pawn. Woo! Gone for the novel. Going for a queen exchange. X-ray through again, giving them something to think about, a problem, or a potential problem in this case. But not losing sight of the answer process. The answer process is always going to be the baby. So if we take, he takes, takes, let's go here. Yeah, okay, let's hit the queen again still a problem for them because it's a lesser piece against a higher piece I'm just about to say going to the other side of the board but it's not gone there so as he landed on anything again could hit knight takes pawn takes queen takes so again give them problems to think about so we'll hit the bishop a queen again with the bishop So all this movement of the queen is basically preventing this bishop getting out. We may be going queenside castling after all that because he spent a lot of time uncastled. And we appear to be developing our pieces a little bit at a time. He does have his knight which is aiming for this pawn here. So we have to be mindful of that. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. Maybe the knight's going to take, take, but still, it's a bit of an issue. So I'm going to hit the knight, but am I sending the knight to a good place? I am, because he's just going to come here and attack our bishop. What's his king doing? What's our queen doing? Dark square bishop. Any plans? Castling. King safety. Before we're getting brawled. If we go up there, the knight takes, pawn takes. Queen takes, still the same situation. What about knight? Nope. Knight, nope. Knight, yes. So we could come here. Obviously, he's going to castle. Bring the bishop here, again attacking. It's momentarily defending, but it's not going to stay there for long. So he's going to castle first just to protect the pawn but then this knight is protecting this pawn so we could push here but then this knight takes so that's not going to work so we might have to just reverse everything or just bring the bishop here and protect the pawn so it looks like we've run out of problems that we can create for the opponent so far oh this was oh it's defending the pawn He's defending the pawn. It's like a little bit of a... Is he tricking us? We've got a bit of a... Ramming through on both of these. X-ray through to the knight. Pawn. Rook. Looks good, but... Gotta be careful. Where's he going? 
queens in. I'm just knee jerk reaction, just bring the queen in attack. That's the fastest I've seen the move, isn't it? Oh no, the early part was fast as well. So I'm feeling a bit aggrieved about this pawn now. I'm going to have to sort support it because I'm going to get hit after this exchange. So I think we're going to ooh, take this off the board. And we, we either support this pawn or we bring our knight back or we take this pawn, take this knight and then support with the pawn. I don't think there's anything else is there because we're going to get squished or oh, we attack his knight with a pawn where we're sending it you can always attack it again can't he push it up then he comes back again then we take him <clears throat> this pawn's got no protection on could swing here Pushes down, takes, knight takes. They can't push down because he's got the x-ray through. And the rook can't come and protect. Can the knight protect? I think we're going to lose out. We go here, attacking the pawn. Nothing can come and protect it. So this pawn's going to push onto the knight because the knight is covering this square. So we come down, attack his knight. Oh, looks a bit complicated, doesn't it? I'm going to attempt it. So at least the knight can escape. It's just that this pawn was going to go. That's what we were looking to protect, wasn't it? But if they do do that, we can take with a check on his king. So we'll win a tempo. He's moved. So we can still take it. We take. Then he pushes his pawn down onto our knight. And then when we move, he can take the pawn. So I'm not going to be able to take that. If I go here, then he's, uh, we're just going to push the pawn down. And then we're back in that situation again where he's going to be on our bishop. Maybe I'll just let it go. Let it go. Come on. So that's going to drop. Yeah, alright. So they've already they've worked all of that out. So I'm going to take. I'm going to attack. And then attack. Then castle. Yeah, that was confusing it. So he's got a split pawn in the centre. And we're looking to exchange off the rooks now because of that split pawn. That's my rationale. Tiniest of advantages. Don't think he's going to exchange, he's going to go here. I don't care, I'm going to take it off the board. He does have this, attacking this pawn. Yep, so it needs to link the rooks up. Don't know why that's taking so long, really. Unless, of course, he's feeling confident then we take take yeah exactly don't know why that took so long genuinely we're just taking so 
So if we do go here and then he does take and we take then his knights jump in here attacking oops sorry his knights jump in here attacking these pawns so we have to be a little bit clever let's just push this first okay after all that just looking to try and get this pawn here because he's got an x-ray through could still attack his rook his bishop takes, pawn takes, doubles the pawns I don't really have an issue with doubling the pawns especially in this sort of situation but if we do do that then his rook takes, then the knight takes he's protecting this pawn here so the bishop can't take so I'm going to go with this either way However, whichever combination he wants to go with, bishop take him, don't mind doubling the pawns. Obviously we don't take straight away, we take his rook first because we have a check on the king. Just be mindful of that, move order of things. So I'll take my hand off the mouse so I don't do a knee jerk reaction. We'll take a look at what's going to be done. It takes so long over the simple moves, it's unreal. Yep, so knee jerk reaction, obviously taking here, still protecting the pawn here. Could x ray through to the bish, but before we do that, has the knight got a check on us? Got a check on our king. So we would lose the bishop and this pawn would be doubled. So the key threat really is, uh, I mean, he could dance here, couldn't he? He's attacking this pawn twice and then he's attacking that one. So if we bring this pawn here, just kind of stopping that activity and also taking it off of the eye line of the bishop. He's moved back to where he came from. So is he looking to do something? Do we how do we get our knight in the game? It's gonna have to be a strong pawn move or something. Get into a white square. Uh, do you know the thing the thing I think the thing they're being clever because he can he can come here to attack this pawn. So we might as well move this pawn up, hadn't we? I suppose in a way he can still move there and he's attacking this pawn. Yeah. It's going to be that sort of um, funky thing. It's jumping here. Oh, the bishop's attacking the bishop. Highly doubt that the bishop's going to attack the bishop though. I think they think they're being smart with the knight. If I did push here, he comes here, he's attacking this pawn. Yeah, this is where we have to move this one. Even if he does a fancy dance, at least we can push these pawns, I think. So let's push up. Going for the bishop exchange. Ah, okay, I didn't think he was going to do that. So we take, they take, they're on our pawn. We push the pawn up. Does have a check on our king. But he's not really looking for the king, is he? Then he'll, so once he's there, he can come here, attacking. 
this pawn and this pawn. Yeah, so I, if I move, then he takes this pawn. Uh, I think it's one of those where I'm going to have to get the king across. Bring the king across, get it into this side of the board. In the meantime, if he does take, we can take. Yep, let's go with that. Just looking if he moves his knight, which he hasn't done now, so he could have come here and then he's got that magical position, hasn't he? Whereby if I move this, then his knight can take the pawn, so he might have missed an opportunity there. If we move the king up, are we going to be fast enough to get to there? Yeah, I think so. Move the king up. If he goes there, then we can bring the king down, protecting the pawn. Protective in dip. Yeah. Whereas if we push the pawn, then this pawn doesn't have any uh, defense on. If we push the pawn. I think pushing the pawn looks all right. Elevate a bit. He's getting his king in the game. Could push onto the knight, but then he attacks this pawn. Uh, move the king. He's following my idea of getting the king into the middle of the board, supporting. So I think they lost the crucial tempo there, which I'm happy for. What's my knight doing? I have thoughts of jumping here. But is my bishop any good against his knight in this sort of end game? I've gotten to like both of them. I was a, originally a knight man. And in this sort of ending I would prefer to have a knight. Yeah, he's um, blasting through. So if we attack this pawn, he doesn't have to take. If he takes, bishop takes. Mm. Knight v bishop. Uh, Dark squared bishop. This feels like another knight position because there's so many pawns on the board. My bishop could end up not being functional. So push this. And if he doesn't take, then we can get the knight, get it into some active position. If he doesn't take with the bishop, then. So this is keeping tension. We like to keep tension sometimes, not all the time, but I'm believing that this is worthy of it. There's too many pawns on the board to have a bishop against a knight at this stage of the game. Just my thought process, and I think I would lose out. 
So now he's activating his knight, which means we can actually get his pawn off the board when we capture the bishop. So the pawn takes, the king can take. Oh, that might. Okay. Don't celebrate just yet. It's only plus one. And he is down with his knight now. What are we doing if we come here? Gets another check on our king. Don't really want to go backwards either. Uh, that's a shame, isn't it? We come up. But it's kind of boxed in, isn't it? Don't really want to go backwards. So if it comes down, puts a check on, we can move across, can't we? And attack it. Then he's just coming round here and attacking the king again. And he's making his way over to those pawns. Mm. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. It's too much whirlwind stuff for the knight there, isn't it? Bang, 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 bang. I'm trying to avoid going backwards. Oh, he's still hitting me. Oh, he might get a draw. We're only plus one. We can go for a draw. Let's hit the knight. Was that a panic move that? I mean, let's hit the here. Oh, he's got it sewn up. Damn, look at that. Uh, well, we're plus one. So we can afford to lose one. If we go here, though, he's got the whirlwind again. He's got a check on us. Let's go. Oh my word. Let's go here. Oh, I'm not liking this. Not liking this at all.
Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the analysis on this one. Let's take a quick shifty, shall we? Or rather, I'm actually going to take my time with this one. Doesn't like the capture. Bishop g4. Oh, can you believe I missed that? Oh. Yeah, but he just dropped his pawn, wouldn't he? Oh, but then he get it for free. Oh, ho, 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 ho. massive missed opportunity there. Oh, cracky. Oh, good it, good it. Okay. Slightest of advantages, nothing major, that's okay. That one major, major miss there. Oh, now the advantage is showing for them, no, just for a brief moment. Yeah, it gets a bit dicey around here, so this is what I'm really looking at. Whoosh, yeah, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Knight a5. Oh, that's the missed opportunity. Yeah. Where they could have gone here and they would have got a double dose of pawns. Yeah. Yeah, then they moved the king and... Yeah. Right, okay. So two key points. One key point was this one that I thought of when I was during the game. I didn't see that first one. That first one's a, a brilliant one simple thing of x-raying through the, the king the queen with the bishop through to the king oh that would have finished the game off okay so it's looking where advantageous here we did something wrong obviously we did something wrong yeah we let this knight get all dancy as well didn't we crikey look at state and that King e4, that's what we did do. King d3. So it did actually go, it's saying go backwards. Just go back, and I was like, I don't want to go backwards. And maybe we should have done, oh, doesn't like that. I thought that was good, but it's allowed the knight in there. Well, it's not showing a major advantage, is it? It's only minus 0 0.1. Minus 1 there. Minus 2. Minus 1. So, slightly losing. It's not... Oh, it's hit the 2 mark now. It's hit the 5 mark. Whoa, the dead meat. Well, somehow we clawed it back. Oh, and we were pluses. Oh, I, you know, the rushing of this pawn. I, I think I lost my head because I'm like thinking, oh, just I've got a knight. Take my time. Do you know what I mean? I don't need to rush it. What's it saying here? King c4. Oh, king protecting the pawn. And the knight, sorry. Oh, beautiful. Because the knight is protecting the the, uh, the queen in square, and they're just wanting to chomp up there. Two opportunities in this game to actually win out outright, and there's there's so simple things now. I'm seeing it there. Tunnel vision on pushing this pawn up to go and get a queen. Ay ay ay. Happy as Larry. Oh yes, let's get a queen. 
and maybe we should be able to squish the king even if they do get a queen that was the psychology I had but then I realised it's not as clear cut because I wanted to try and get his queen off the board from this point I was hoping it was going to go something like this but then I was going to go here and then I realised hmm even if we did take the king off the board his king does look a little bit closer to our pawn so does it not end in a draw anyway so it was a mistake rushing the pawn up to go and get the damn queen and the rest is just position for a draw two key points don't rush to queen just nice and steady away and definitely the x-rays with the bishops onto the queen through to the king <sighs> good game